Hi, Terry Franks here. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to hit those subscribe, like, and share buttons. Today I want to talk about something a little bit unusual and something that's not really being covered a lot in the mainstream media. And these Hamas terrorists that stormed into Israel on October 7th, you wonder you wonder about their age. I think a lot of them are very young and are just recruited by Hamas. And uh, many of them, they say it is reported that uh, they are paid and their families are paid for killing Jews, going in and just massacring Jews and Americans. I don't know, what are we up to? 30 Americans now that are dead. We have 200 hostages, two were just released today, a mother and a daughter, I believe. We don't know a lot about that yet. But what I find really interesting, I was reading on the Jerusalem Post, and there are other articles out there too on other, uh, on other websites and newspapers and so on, but not a lot about it in the mainstream news. And that is, that many of the Hamas militants, the murderers that came into Israel, th those that were killed by the Israeli, the IDF, were found with Captagon in their pockets. What is Captagon? It is an amphetamine, it is a an illicit drug, the U.S. banned it long, long time ago, I think in the 60s. But what it does is it gives them a sense of well-being, a sense, a euphoric sense, uh, that a sense of being invincible. And even to the point where they hear voices and they see things. So this gives them the courage to go in as if nothing can harm them. They're high on this, this psychotropic drug, which allows them to go in as if they are in a video game and just blow away Jew after Jew and American after American and just slaughter and, and do what they did to the the pregnant woman that they found, that her belly had been cut open and the baby, which was stabbed, I don't know how many times, was still attached to the bil umbilical cord. What a horrifying scene. Now, who could have done that kind of butchery? I it just, it just boggles the mind. I, I don't know how anybody could do that kind of butchery and be in a state, a, a normal, sober state of mind. Perhaps the pure hatred for the Israelis would result in a murder like that or in, in massacres like that. But what I believe is that many of them were on the psychotropic drug captagon and it makes you do things that you probably would never do you are not in your right mind you stay awake for days you're not hungry so these soldiers so-called soldiers for hamas these terrorists they don't have to be fed they don't have to sleep and they will kill anything in their path and do butchery beyond your wildest imagination. That's why much of this is happening. This Captagon is an illicit drug, but it is all over the Middle East. And there's a lot of money being made from it by these terrorist groups. So next time you see or hear about Hamas militants, terrorists, murdering, raping, burning, butchering, beheading all of these Jews and Americans. Think about this. These just monsters are loading up these young people, these terrorists with Captagon so they can keep a leash on them and make them do what they want to do. This is 
just so horrific. It's demonic. And this is exactly how the enemy works. And when I talk about the enemy, I mean Satan and his generals and his captains and all his demonic force that's behind all this. It, it, the, the use of drugs is a portal to demonic activity. So when you think about this is just, you know, just such hatred that they just go in and they slaughter these people. They are enhanced by this Captagon drug, this amphetamine. It's on the black market in the Middle East. Uh, this drug will cause an individual to do things they would never do when sober. So it's evil beyond evil. Did you know this? I, I, you know, but when you think about it, it makes perfect sense. We are all human beings. And to go into war and, and slaughter people, innocent civilians, you have to either be out of your mind, crazy with hatred, which they probably are, many of them, but to be enhanced, the hatred to be enhanced by this drug where they think that nothing can happen to them and they hear voices and they see things. This is, I, I, this is what a, a terrorist organization would do. So they, they'll give their so-called fighters this drug, which is just so... I, I don't even have words for it. It's so horrific to think about. I cannot help but to record videos on what is happening right now worldwide. We are edging closer and closer to an apocalyptic event. And I just feel like I have to, I feel led to say something about it. And we need to be aware and we need to wake up. So leave me a comment and let me know if you've ever heard of the drug Captagon that's so prevalent in Gaza. And especially for their terrorist fighters that go in and butcher. I'd love to hear it.